Hi peeps! There are plenty of videos showing off cool, rare weapons with unique moves and crazy builds that'll rock your world. Like my Power Stance Curved Sword Bleed Build video. Just, uh, you know, a little bit of self-promotion. <laughs> but today, I want to talk about a gem of a weapon hidden in plain sight. The Broadsword. The Broadsword is a straight sword, and it looks pretty normal, and it doesn't have any special effects. The Confessor class even starts with one and you can pick it up pretty much right at the beginning of the game for only 1800 rooms from a nomadic merchant on the coast of Limgrave, just west of the First Step Grace. It comes with a basic straight sword weapon skill called Square Off, which most of the other common straight swords have. Seems pretty unassuming, right? Well, you'd be wrong to write off this weapon as a starter weapon to get rid of as soon as you can. This simple weapon is hiding huge, pure physical damage without the need for insane stats, and Square Off is a surprisingly useful skill. My main character is rocking Power Stance Curved Swords right now, and as much as I love my Power Stance Curved Swords, shields are the greatest enemy. Aside from trying to stab a shielded enemy in the back, or waiting for an opening so I can slash away, there isn't much I can do. Square Off solves this problem easily. Square Off starts off with a sword held up high, nice and straight. If you do a light attack, you'll smash upwards with the sword and knock aside enemy shields. Enemies that turtle away behind their shields will be cowering in fear of your Square Off Assault. If you do a heavy attack, your character will charge forwards a bit and fiercely stab forwards to pierce your foes. Do note that the heavy attack does not swat away enemy shields, so be mindful of that during combat. Also remember that shields are both your friend and your enemy, so it's a good idea to carry one around anyways. Parrying is fun. Now let's show off some of the damage. My character only has 11 strength, so the damage here will be in line with a new character since we're going with a pure strength scaling by applying heavy on the broadsword. My favorite training dummies, the Giants and Limgrave, are going to be our damage soakers for today. Without any upgrades, the broadsword's doing okay damage. 67 damage with light attack, and 101 on a strong attack. With square off, we get 167 damage on a light attack, and 208 damage on the heavy attack. That's pretty good damage on an unupgraded broadsword. Square off also does insane posture damage, making it real easy to break the stance of most enemies for an easy critical attack. Stance breaking with this weapon skill is insane. Now, let's upgrade the broadsword and see the damage output at plus 6. That's a pretty reasonable upgrade level for the early game. Now, the light attack is doing a whopping 115 damage. The heavy attack is up to 159. Square off's light attack is dealing 243 damage. And the heavy attack is doing 307 damage in a single attack. These are pretty good numbers for a weapon you can start the game with. Let's give the broadsword another upgrade, up to plus 12. That's probably what most people will have in the mid game. By this point in the video, you know the drill. Giants get sliced up for Zions. A simple light attack does 163 damage. A heavy attack is dealing 216 damage. Square off's light attack is up to 331 damage. And Square off's heavy attack is dealing a massive 416 damage. With damage like this, you can make short work of early game enemies now. Just look at this tough looking Godric army. To battle! And now they're a pile of corpses. What fun. You probably want to see something a little bit more level appropriate, so let's head to Lindell. These knights were a pain to fight when I first fought them. Their shields always got in my way. Well, Square Off smacks away those shields and brings them down to their knees. Now for some late game damage, bringing this baby up to plus 18. A heavy Square Off does a humongous 530 damage. By now, we only need to do a couple heavy Square Off attacks to bring a giant down. Stab him in the face for a critical, and finish him with two light smacks to the ankle. At this point, your broadsword is so strong, the Godric army is turned into corpses, and you don't even need to do anything. The Lindell knights can't even stop themselves from bending their knees at this point. Sweet, sweet revenge. Say goodbye to the sunlight. These fire monks have annoying spells, but Square Off says nope to that and interrupts them handily. You want to cast a spell? Too bad. Again? Oops, I got in the way. Say goodbye to the snow. And remember, all this is with only 11 strength. It's basically got no damage boost from the strength scaling of the heavy broadsword. The broadsword is definitely a great weapon to carry with you throughout the entire game, from its high pure physical damage to the beautiful square off weapon skill that only straight swords can have. It's probably the best weapon hidden in plain sight. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed that, check out this other video I did on Dragon Magic. It's the coolest magic in Elden Ring in my opinion. Look into my eyes.
watch the dragon magic video. And when I snap my fingers, remember to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye.